Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, very quick one, so let's just hop right into it. And uh, yeah, Dayton Lines today, thank you Washita for doing this, and Zabi as well of course. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing is that, um, I mean, there were a lot of little things, a lot of little fixes, but I'm gonna talk about the three main things that I found, uh, which are the most interesting ones. But I, I might pass over some of the other ones, but these are the more important ones in my opinion. Uh, so fixes, a lot of fixes, smaller things like, uh, remember when the MiG-21 uh, couldn't, like if you take the, the external fuel tank together with the flares, it would bug, it would just be both at the same time. Uh, so now this type of thing is fixed. Uh, then we go for some radar fixes, the Mirage radar fixes. The, the TWS was a little bit weird, now it's uh, properly fixed. And the Russian... Uh, aircraft got um, like uh, the radar is working well again if you can say that so like for example here uh, we're going to lock that target over there and see I can change between pulse Doppler and the um, IRST for example uh, very very quickly uh, which was something that wasn't really happening um, for some reason you were just basically losing the lock straight away when you try to do this so now it's fixed it i'm gonna show to you guys in the su-27 as well because it was a problem with aircraft uh, with that aircraft as well and of course um remember you know it's something that a lot of people use to actually properly use the r 27 ets especially but also the r-73s right you get a lock but you don't want the target to know that you're there um, you change quickly to the IR, or just before launch, you can change to that, so that he doesn't know that the missile is coming or anything like that. Doesn't like to try to bring less attention to the target. So yeah, of course here we are kind of far away, but still, yeah, it's working as you see. And also, um, other minor thing that I hope this radar is added for other aircraft. And I'll probably do a video talking about that. Is the copio right? The copio radar is a radar that can be used in the MiG 21 and 93. Uh, so hopefully, this is not the last aircraft that will have this, uh, especially because it's a premium. So, not a lot of people even talks about this aircraft because it's a premium, right? So, a lot less people fly with this thing, right? But they finally, I mean. It was kind of working before, but now it's properly modeled, all these systems and everything is fixed on this radar, right? So, um, it was something that was being worked on for a while, so yeah. But as you see, Search Pulse Doppler is working, the TWS is working, of course it takes a while to update. The Search uh, Pulse Doppler HDN, TWS HDN, and of course we have Search um, Ground. Pulse Doppler, you know, so search Pulse Doppler ground and then TWS ground. But remember, the targets need to be moving, if I'm not mistaken, for this thing to work. So let me just turn around to show to you guys on those targets over there. I'm just gonna pass over all of them to show to you guys. But it is now, you know, properly realistic, if you will, right? At least a lot more than it was before, right? So let's turn around a little bit and as you see we are not detecting those because they are stopped but the other ones we can detect and once you lock it uh, of course there are a lot of threes there but you can lock it and the sighting system will go to the target right away right so it is pretty pretty interesting and kind of effective if you are um, looking for targets in ground realistic battles, right? So let's show the main feature of the video, which is the Challenger buff. So yes, the Challenger got, if you know, um, if you don't know, actually, the Challenger on the update got a completely, not a completely new, like, armor thing, but it's just that the modeling just got better. You know, it just improved a lot and it's a lot more realistic, especially the armor inside the tank, right? So um, the, the size of it, I think it's the same. It's just that the effectiveness of it is a lot better. So uh, we can try to take a look. The problem is that I don't have the numbers uh, from before the buff, 
but it should be a lot better. So around 700 um, plus over here of armor, right? So it is better. It's like the kinetic energy uh, coefficient increased by from 0 0.57, if I'm not mistaken, to like 0 0.63. So it's a kind of a substantial, not really substantial, but since it's a coefficient, it kind of is felt by a lot, right? And if you angle a little bit, it can be a very, like, look at this. It will never penetrate that. So yeah, uh, the turret sides as well, they got to improve it. So you can see if it if it's angled, it is pretty hard to penetrate. So the turret of the Challenger and a little bit of the hull, if I'm not mistaken, I don't remember if the hull was actually buffed, but still, the turret especially was, um, is a lot better. Of course, the same problem remains. Um, the thing that they did fix in the dev server uh, is still here. So the manlet is still the easiest way to actually penetrate the turret part. So it's not like, oh my god, it's such an amazing buff, but it does help. Uh, of course, it has a massive, um, you know, weak spot on the driver's hatch over here and on the lower glacis. So it should be kind of the same for you to actually destroy a tank like this. But I mean, at least it is a little bit harder technically, right? So yeah, I don't know how people are feeling about this. I mean, I know people will love it because it is a buff, but I don't think it's enough. I'm not saying that the manlet should be the bad, like impenetrable, because I honestly don't know if it should or not, but uh, because technically you will have less armor, right? I think. So yeah, but it maybe should be a little bit better than this. The manlet should take a little bit more of the punch, maybe, I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about it, uh, but yeah, as you can see, uh, the armor is um, a bit better on the Challenger 2. And these are the, the, the main data mines that were found, of course there's always th things here and there, but these are the main ones I think. Uh, as I said, there are other things, but um, I'm gonna leave the links in the description for you to take a proper look, okay guys? See you guys on the next one, make sure to subscribe, 